How's it going, guys? We're going to go ahead and review IO Bit Malware Fighter 10.5 free. Now, if you guys want to download a free trial, you guys, I will post a link on the description of the video. It'll take you to here. You just click on the free download button here, and you'll be able to download it. Now, this is what it looks like here once you download it. Um, beware, you will be getting a heck of a lot of ads popping up as you're installing it. Just say no to everything. And even saying no to everything, I'm going to show you guys, it did still install some crap I didn't want it to. If you look down here, we're going to look at our, our apps. Let's find IO bit. I told it no for everything and still, look, it still installed iTop Screen Recorder, which I did not want. iTop VPN, which I didn't. Uh, we're going to look at it. VPN kind of goes with the anti-malware. But Screen Recorder... I never said yes to that, so be very careful. IOBit loves to install a bunch of crap on your computer. Make sure you say no to everything. But this one's gonna this one's gonna go through. So just letting you guys know, it's Black Friday today, and you you can already see right here Black Friday's on. You see up here, say big, and I, it's just, dude, so many dang freaking ads. It, it's driving me nuts. It is driving me freaking nuts. And as you're using the program, you're going to get more ads. So that's one thing I freaking hate about IOBit Malware Fighter right now. A lot of ads. But anyway, this is what it looks like once you install it. If you scan, he's a smart scan. Now I could tell this is the type of antivirus software that does not let you do crap. Can I go back? It's not going to let me go back, guys. So check this out. Now it's telling you here, anti-ransomware engine pro. If you hit enable now, it's going to make you buy the Pro Edition. The Bitdefender engine. Bitdefender? That's weird. I wonder if Bitdefender owns IOBit. But look, it's going to tell, if you hit here, go and behold, it's going to take you to buy it. Yeah, there, there's money right there. They want your money. This is pissing me off already, guys. It is pissing me off when it's just throwing so many ads at you. But anyway, if you guys want a free antivirus, this one here is just going to drive you nuts. I'm going to stop it because we can't do anything else while it's scanning. All the other software, antivirus software we have reviewed, we can continue on when it's scanning, not here. All right. So it's got three types of scans. The smart, which we were just doing now. The full scan, which will take a long time. And then you can do custom if you want to um, If you want to select a custom folder. Now, if you auto scan through a schedule, guess what? You need Pro. You need to pay them for that. Some antivirus programs that are free out there will let you do a scheduled scan for free. This one does not. Okay, browser protect, homepage advisor. Okay, monitor and notify you of any changes to your homepage, which anti viruses do that all the time. They'll change your homepage. Anti tracking, you need to buy that. Download protection is on, DNS is on. Surfing protection, I think you need to buy that too. You need to download an extension, which I, which I can guarantee you is not free. All right. So it looks so it's got homepage advisor, download protection, DNS protection, anti-tracking protection. That's good. That's good. Uh, oh no, never mind. You have to buy that one. If you try to enable that one, boom, there it goes. Give me your money. <laughs> Screw you, I old it. Anyway, uh, which was this one called? Security guard. So protect engine. Your PC is a basic protect engine. And look how it tells you. If you want more, buy it. <laughs> So the free edition comes with Network Guard, File Guard, Startup Guard, and Process Guard, which is okay for free edition. Uh, if you want anti-ransomware, you got to buy it. Bid Defender, you got to buy it. Let's see what tools we got here. Safebox, you got to buy that. Protect your privacy. Sandbox, it looks like Sandbox might be working for free. Let's see. Sandbox is where you can open up programs that you don't know if they're safe or not, and you'll open up inside of a sandbox, inside of a virtual environment. So you won't affect your own computer. So you just click here on Run Suspicious Program and Sandbox. It'll take you to the File Explorer. Select your program, and you'll be able to run it through there. Now I'm not going to click on it because I don't. It's, it, what it does, it opens up a big old list of everything that you have, and I really don't want to put that out in the internet. Okay, it's got a VPN. Same thing. I can't open it because when you open it, it's going to tell you what your IP address is, and I don't want to put that out on the internet. Um, but from there, you can go ahead and select to use it. And you only got a certain amount of uh, network data you could use on the free edition. All right, guys. 
Uh, the Action Center here um, it tells you to install all their freaking crap. Driver booster, advanced system care, which you have to pay for all that. I'm telling you, IOBit just has a lot of ads, guys. Um, unfortunately, PC Magazine does not have the free edition of IOBit uh, test results, so I could show you guys. I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5, and that is because of the ads. Too many dang ads pop up. Uh, PC Magazine has not done any test results with it, so we don't know exactly how it works. Two out of five. Um, yeah, stop it with the ads, guys. Iobit, stop it with the ads. If you ever see this video, stop the freaking ads. So many of them. Jesus. <sighs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, beware of the ads on this program. If you guys do use it and you like it and you get to uh, use it for a bit, let me know how it, how it worked for you guys. I'm not using it. I don't like to put myself in too many ads like that. Sorry, it's just not not my thing. Sorry, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon in the next video.